Danielle from Haverford Township Free Library and it's Tuesday and I'm wearing my cuddly bathrobe so it must be pajama story time. So I hope you have something to make you comfy, either a blanket or some slippers or your jammies or a bathrobe or a snuggle buddy or anything like that to make you comfy to get ready for pajama story time. Now I have a new song for us to start with. It's a little jazzy, it's a little silly. I just wanted to try something different to start our story time with. So this is Sandra Boyton's Pajama Time and I adapted it from her CD, Philadelphia Chickens. So you have to snap a little bit like this. If you can't snap yet, clap your hands. The moon is up, it's getting late. Let's get ready to celebrate. It's pajama time. Oh, it's pajama time. Pull on the bottoms, put on the top. Get yourself set to pajama de bop. It's pajama time. Oh, it's pajama time. Pajama to the left, pajama to the right. Everybody's wearing them for stories tonight. It's pajama time. Oh, it's pajama time. Hush, hush, it's pajama time. Hush, hush, it's pajama time. Hush, hush, it's pajama time. Shh. What'd you think of that? I thought it was pretty silly. I thought I liked it. I don't know if I could pull it off, and I'm not sure that I actually did, but at least, you know, we'll keep it for this week. If you liked it, let me know. Say something in the comments. If you didn't like it, say, Miss Danielle, that was terrible. Can you go back to the other song that you usually open with? So, and I won't take it personally. So let's start with our first book. This is one of my favorites. This is The Dog House by Jan Thomas. Look at that mouse on the front. He is looking pretty scared. There is something that is freaking him out. Mm-hmm. Let's look on the back. It says, oh, look at those pigs there. It says, brave enough to go into the dog house. There's a pig, there's a duck, there's a cow. They all look little, mm -hmm. a little frightened. Let's see why. Well, there they are playing ball. Looks like the, uh, the cow gives the ball a big kick. <gasps> oh no! The ball went into the doghouse. Look at that creepy looking doghouse. I mean, it's got like, you know, the full moon above it and those creepy looking trees around it there. Who will get it out? Uh, well, everybody seems to be looking at each other there. Oh, a cow will! A um, cow is big! Cow is brave! Cow is strong! And the cow's just like, um, moo? Oh. Um. So, cow goes into the doghouse. But cow does not come out. Now, cow and the ball are in the doghouse. Who will get them out? Oh, looks like everybody's pointing at pig. <laughs> Poor pig. Pig will. Pig is smart. Pig is wise. Pig is stinky. Stinky. <clears throat> so pig goes into the doghouse. I am not stinky. Mm -hmm. But pig does not come out. Quack! Quack! Now cow and pig and the ball are in the doghouse. Who will get them out? I think a uh, mouse is volunteering the duck there. Quack! 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 Duck will! Duck is, um, duck is, well, duck is noisy! So Duck goes into the doghouse. Quack! 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 But Duck does not come out. It's just Mouse now. And look. Look at the doghouse. Look at those. Look at those eyes. And there's some teeth. Can't you come out, Duck? 
No, because I am having duck for dinner. <gasps> More turnips duck? Look at that. They're having dinner. Dog is having them all for dinner. There's the cow, there's the duck, there's the pig, there's the ball. Everybody's there for dinner. Oh, and it looks like Mouse finally joined them. Glad you could join us for cake, Mouse. <gasps> cake? The end. <laughs> That's the doghouse by Jan Thomas. I just get a tickle out of that book. So, let's do another song before we do our next book. I don't think we've done Zoom Zoom for a while, and we've never done the second verse of Zoom Zoom. So let's do Zoom Zoom plus the second verse. So that means we'll be doing, we'll be blasting off twice. Ready? Okay, warm up. Okay. Zoom Zoom Zoom, we're going to the moon. Zoom Zoom Zoom, we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! And now let's do the second verse. It's pretty much the same as the first one, but it goes like this. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Whew. I hope nobody got hurt last enough there. Whew. It's a little warm in this uh, bathrobe here. Yeah, with all that, uh, with all that zoom zooming. Should we do another book? Hmm? What do you say? I just found a shaker egg in my seat. <laughs> Maybe we'll use that for the next song. I don't know. The next book is I Am Not Scared by Anna Kang. I don't know about that. They look pretty scared. You know what? I'm going to move over to this side a little bit. Try to get rid of that glare there. Oh, there's a big bear and a little bear. They look a little scared. I don't think I believe them that they're not scared. Enter. Oh, there's Little Bear. There's Big Bear. Big Bear looks a little worried. You are scared. I am not scared. Are you? No, I am brave. This will be fun. You look scared. Well, maybe a little, little bit. Don't worry, there are much scarier things than this. Look where they are. It says Loop of Doom. And that looks like a really big scary roller coaster behind them. I would be pretty scared to go on that roller coaster. So, don't worry, there are much scarier things than this. Like what? Like snakes. Snakes? Yes, they are scary. Or, or what about a tub of hairy spiders? Now that is scary. I would be scared of that too. Yeah. <laughs> or a pit of hot lava. A pan of fried ants. An alien with pink eyes and furry teeth! A roller coaster! With a snake! Oh! <laughs> Look at that snake! <laughs> he looks, um... He looks like he was pretty scared. Oh, it looks like he was scared but had a lot of fun. So now they're all on the roller coaster. Let's be scared together. I am scared. Oh, 
Now that was scary. The scariest. But <laughs> I think they had fun because they're back. We are scared. Ah! <laughs> Sometimes being scared can be a little fun too. So I think that's why it is I am not parentheses not scared. So let's do another song before we do our last story. Okay, so I did find this shaker egg, just a random shaker egg in my chair there. Life of a children's librarian, I guess. So what can we do with this shaker egg? What song can we do? Can we do, because we usually don't do a lot of shakers at pajama story time. Being, you know, the whole thing is kind of like, you know, we want to settle down, but I guess after those two books, there wasn't really a lot of settling down with those two books. So let's do something shaky. Let's do something shaky. Should we just do our ABCs? We can really shake with our ABCs. We can do that. Mm -hmm. Or we can do uh, the wheels on the bus with the shaker egg, because you can go like this. Yeah, we can do the wheels on the bus. We can do, oh, let's do the orca whale. Let's do the orca whale song, okay? Because we can go, ooh, they can make, make all the noises with the, with the different, oh, those things. Okay, so ready? An orca whale, an orca whale, little sea scallops, and an orca whale, an orca whale, an orca whale, little sea scallops, and an orca whale, sea otter, sea otter, little sea scallops, and an orca whale, sea otter, sea otter. Little sea scallops and an orca whale, a puffer fish. <gasps> a puffer fish. <gasps> Little sea scallops and an orca whale. Let's do something else now that we, since I have this shaker egg. Let's do something else. So let's do, um, let's do the popcorn kernels. Okay. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, till they pop. Let's do that one more time. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop. Till they pop. That was fun. <laughs> Should we do our last song? I mean, not our last song, our last book. Let's do our last book. Okay. This is Pigs to the Rescue by John Himmelman. So, since we're not really settling down because of the first two books that I read were kind of like that. This one is not going to settle you down either. Nope, not at all. This is Pigs to the Rescue. Take a look at those pigs there. They are not calm pigs. They have ropes and water balloons and ladders and a hoe and who knows what's going on there. So, Pigs to the Rescue. On Monday, the tractor broke down. Farmer Greenstalk couldn't plow his fields. Uh -oh. If you look right at the corner there, there's a little pigtail. A little pigtail sticking out there. Pigs to the rescue! And here they come with plows and hoes and shovels and buckets and they just dig up the whole field. Ah! Um, thank you, said Farmer Greenstalk. On Tuesday, Mrs. Greenstalk found a leak in her garden hose. Pigs to the rescue! And here they come with hoses and water balloons and bottles of water and a pool of water and buckets of water. Plenty of water! Oh, you really didn't have to do that, said Mrs. Greenstalk, but thanks. And they pretty much soaked her. 
On Wednesday, Jeffrey Greenstalk got his kite stuck in a tree. Oh, that stinks. Pigs to the rescue! There they are, from the bottom, piling up like acrobats on the top until they get the kite. And they all come tumbling to the get ground, breaking the kite in the process. Hmm. Well, you did get it out of the tree, I guess, said Jeffrey. On Thursday morning, Caleb the rooster had a sore throat and couldn't crow. I think you know where this is going. Pigs to the rescue! Snort, squeak, roar! All right, we're awake! We're awake! Shouted Farmer Greenstalk. Huh. On Friday, Emily Greenstalk broke the lace on her shoe. Pigs to the rescue! Here they come with rope and twine and vines! And they're starting to just tie her up there. And they, they tied her shoe and much, much more. <laughs> she said. On Saturday, Ernie the duck was sad because nobody remembered his birthday. Aww. Pigs to the rescue! Here they come with cake and confetti and horns and balloons. And one of them's a clown and presents, and they give them a big, big birthday hug. And there he goes, the poor duck, flying away on the balloons while they party without him. Oh no. On Sunday, Lulu the cat tipped over her saucer of milk. Oh no. <gasps> the green stalks ran into the room. Shh. He said, don't let the pigs know. Everyone froze and listened. Oh, that was close, said Mrs. Greenstalk. Thank goodness the pigs didn't find out about this one. But, cows to the rescue! about this book but it just it tickles me I mean there's not much to it but the illustrations just make me laugh so like I said those books were not good books to calm you down but we can calm down with our silly lullaby so if you have a snuggle buddy it can be a stuffed animal it can be a blanket it can be a pillow it can be a stuffed animal it can be a sibling it can be your grown-up it can be yourself. You can give yourself a big hug. It can be, well, I was going to get my cat. He's walking up the stairs now. So I think he, I think he was smart to get away before a uh, snuggle time happens. So, but I'm going to grab, since I don't have my snuggle buddy with me right now, my daughter, I'm going to use her owl. So everybody get comfy with your snuggle buddy there. And we'll sing our silly lullaby from Sandra Boynton before we head off to bed. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fitzy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, it's time to say at you. The chickens in the bathtub, the closet full of sheep, the sneakers in the freezer are drifting off to sleep. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fitzy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, the owl is whispering moo. And with that, we say good night and thank you so much for watching Pajama Storytime this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little extra silly for you tonight. And I hope you would join me again next week. Have a good night's sleep. Bye for now.